My name is Glenda Cozy. I am on the grounds of W.L. Seaton Secondary in Vernon, BC. This is the site of where an internment camp was from 1914 to 1920. My grandparents and my uncle were all interned here. My uncle came here as a three-month-old baby and spent the first six years of his life looking through barbed wire at these hills behind us. This plaque is dedicated to the memory of the men, women, and children who were held at the Vernon internment camp on this location. He came here as around three months old, and that is just no place for a baby. My grandmother actually made friends with a lady who lived here in Vernon through the fence, and she supplied her with some milk for the baby. Just a really harsh way to start your life off and there was no explanation given. They took away all their livelihood. My, my grandfather had boats, they took that away. He never got those back. My uncle came here for the dedication of the plaque. He stood and looked and he said, that was the view I had for the first six years of my life. I had this chain link fence between me and the rest of the world and I wondered why, why was I here? I would like the kids to understand that this happened here, it's not just a playing field. There's a lot of history here. When you look at this mural and you see the images and the sunflowers and the letters, it looks like any other heritage mural, but it's not. What it actually is is a story of my family. People are like, what are you painting? You start saying we're painting an internment mural and they're like, well, what do you mean? And so all of a sudden, the painting and the people in the conversation is quite shocking. And they're like, we didn't know that happened. And so then you become an educator. My favorite image is definitely the woman's face. She represents the young mother that would come with hope to a new world, but then she was put in a cage. They're pretty powerful eyes. I think they speak a lot. You know, I think there's pain in there, but I think there's strength. How do you take people's hopes and dreams and the courage to come to a new country and then do that? I mean, so many terrible things happen, but if you can see it as a conversation, change can happen through conversations.